What's up, dude? Let me start this video off by saying I absolutely love a grilled steak. However, there is something truly glorious and beautiful about a pan-fried steak. The amazing crust, the basting with aromatics, the way it looks, I just love everything about it. Guga from Guga Foods happens to think a grilled steak is better. Well, then I say let's head out to Miami and have a steak battle to settle this once and for all. And as always, my friends, there is no time to waste. Now let's go! Let's go. Oh, well, I'm in Austin. First thing we need to do is head over to Miami and show Guga how to make rosemary salt. Okay, my friends. I am here with the man himself, Guga from Guga Foods. First of all, thank you so much for actually coming to my house. You taught me a lot of things already, and this, I'm super pumped. This is the one recipe that my audience has recreated the most. It takes two minutes to make, and you'll love it for the rest of your life. Check it out. How can you not love it? Do you smell that? You smell it already. Wait till it's blended up, Guga. Here we go. Rosemary leaves just stripped off the stem. Sage picked off the stem. Simple as that. Garlic straight in. Lemon. A little tip on zest in the lemon, right? Pull down like this so you get one even layer. Looks you like it was done by a machine, right, Kuga? <laughs> Damn right. You are a machine. Well, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Here we go. <laughs> Flaky salt straight yep. in. You could use a blender for this too. And all we're gonna do is blend it up. And that's it. One minute of blending. Oh, do you smell you that? You smell it already. Look, let me waft it at you, Guga. I've made it a thousand times. I still get excited when I smell that. And that is rosemary salt. Love it, Tony. It Ooh. smells so good. Now, what do you use this for? Everything? Everything. Look, steak, chicken, pork. People put it on popcorn. People put it on potatoes, root vegetables, whatever you want. It's honestly one seasoning for everything. Gotta be good on everything, but when you said potato, like roasted potatoes. Mm, the best, dude. The best. Oh. Today, obviously, it is going on a steak. Let's get to battling. Look, I love a grilled steak. I love that smoky flavor. I love the charcoal flavor. It's delicious. I am not hating on it. I just absolutely love a pan fried steak. It's a dying tradition. So when you pan fry a steak, notice there are no grill lines in the pan, right? You have one piece of thick metal. This is carbon steel pan and you get the most amazing crust. And yes, you can get a good crust using a grill, but that pan fried crust is something truly to remember. But charcoal right, is special. I, I'm not knocking on charcoal, Guga. I, I love special, charcoal. Bro. I I love charcoal. It's my second best friend. <laughs> that was good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just lightly oil my steak. I do this and it acts almost like a binder. And I find when I put the oil on and then the seasoning, much less comes off in the pan and the seasoning just sticks really well. So here we go, rosemary salt, if you know, you know. And this steak is pretty thick, so we wanna go pretty heavy with the seasoning. And then fresh ground black pepper, I like a nice thick crust and I'm just gonna tap the seasoning in and as we go to the other side we've got a bunch of seasoning around so we're gonna dip up the edge of that steak and same exact deal on the other side nice heavy pan whether you use cast iron steel carbon steel just make sure it's thick we're gonna wait for that oil to smoke okay let's lower in our steak hear that nice sizzle got some good heat and now all we need to do is not mess with it just let it sear all right there we go three four minutes we're gonna do the flip and look at that unbelievable crust that's pan fried perfection. Gotta say, Sonny, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I wanna eat that. Now it's got that nice same sear on the other side. We're gonna take it out, let it do its first rest right here. Now into the pan, some shallots, just slice them in half, or shallots. A Little bit of crushed garlic, but it has the peel still on, which acts like a protective layer so that the garlic will cook, but unlock its flavor. It won't burn this way. When those shallots are nice and golden brown, and the garlic, just gonna flip those. I'm going straight in with the butter right now. And we're gonna let all these ingredients get to know each other. And what we want is this butter to brown, not burn, but brown. At this point, we're gonna reduce our heat just a little over low, so we make sure we don't burn that. Steak back in when that butter is brown. A little bit of time, wait for the time to crackle. Pan back, and we bake. And how beautiful is that? Oh my God, I never get tired of doing this. We baste till about 118 internal, and then we rest for about five, six minutes. So for my steak, we're gonna be using an Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 9. This is a beautiful steak, one of my favorite steaks to eat. It is a ribeye. Now here's the thing with this one. I gotta be extra careful. When you're grilling it, there's so much fire involved that it can actually start to come apart. That could be a good thing and a bad thing. So we're gonna trust in it to make sure that does not happen. And then on top of that, I will also be doing a little spicy compound butter to go right on top with a gojugan Korean paste, garlic, and my special ingredient, which is cured egg yolk is just 
delicious on a steak. That's gonna be my take on it. So for my steak, I'm gonna keep it real simple, a good amount of salt. A lot of people make a huge mistake of under seasoning their steak, so make sure to season it properly. Then we're gonna go with freshly ground black pepper. Yes, freshly ground black pepper is better. And I like to use a little bit of garlic powder as well. It just produces an incredible flavor that we all love. Make sure to season both sides. A lot of the seasoning that you put on the beginning, you will lose on the grill, so it's important to season it properly. I mean, take a look at this. It's already coming apart, everybody, and if I don't dress in it, it's just gonna basically disintegrate on the grill. That is why I'm gonna go ahead and use this butcher's twine right here. Just once around is good enough, and a nice little knot, just to try to keep the steak together, you know, so you can have a nice presentation in the end. Is it required? No. One thing I like to do is to do a, like a double knot here, so it holds together when I tie it. See? And it just holds together, and that is how it's done. Now let's make the compound butter. First, go in with butter. I'm using one of the greatest butters that I've used, Calgary Gold. Then, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of garlic paste, not too much. Gojugan Korean chili paste, we really like that. One entire cured egg yolk. This produces an amazing umami flavor. We are absolutely addicted to it here in this house. It's one of the greatest things ever, everybody. Highly recommend. I'm gonna do a whole egg yolk, because this thing is amazing, everybody. And to finish it off, of course, the real deal, Parmigiano Reggiano, which I highly recommend. It also brings in some sweetness, some savory. Now we close everything up and you blend it and that's it. My compound butter is done. Now that I got everything ready, I say it is enough talking and it's time to get cooking. Let's do it. So the first thing I like to do is to put a nice beautiful sear. For that, I just laid it down on the grate. Notice that the charcoal is super hot. After about 30 seconds, I flip and we're starting to get a crust. That is exactly what I'm looking for. Once another 30 seconds go by, we flip it once again. Notice on my second flip, I immediately rotate the grill. That's because I'm trying to avoid grill marks. Guga, I have to admit that is looking really good and the smell is incredible, but pan fried steak, there's something truly beautiful about that. We'll see. Sometimes mama say nothing good to say, just stay quiet. <laughs> I'll stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, grilled marks is just burnt steak. I hate them. I rather get a nice golden brown color just like this. I mean, take a look at it. This is what we're looking for. But now that I achieved the crust that I was happy with, I went ahead and slathered my whole thing with the butter. The more butter, the better. Honestly, one of my favorite things is an un dented fridge. It just doesn't look right, so I'm gonna fix this hey, fridge. Sorry, oh, oh. sorry, please. It's my fridge, bro. Please, don't for do you, it. For you, for you, Guga. My fridge is my friend. I don't bro. like it, but okay. Thank you, bro. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Come on, let's continue. Right. I probably should have taken Guga's advice because my steak started to come apart a little bit. When it's not one mass, it's not exactly gonna cook evenly, so I'm just gonna take off this cap. Okay, here we go, straight into the eye. Tell you what, this ain't looking bad, Guga, it ain't looking bad. There we go, and we might as well, while we're here, slice into this cap. Oh, wow, 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 wow. And you know Guga has the good beef. This is cutting like butter. That's what we like to hear. Here's our eye, pan-fried eye. And the best part, that cap. There we go, my friends. Just a little of that butter right over the top. I'm not gonna waste these, so shallots, as well as the garlic, getting served with the steak. Shallots or shallots? Shallots! Shallots. That is actually exactly what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to separate the cap, but for a different reason, because I think that the cap tastes amazing, and by separating it, we can have the best part of the steak. And then I'll do the eye as well. And I can also, it allows me to remove some of the silver skin here, so that they have a nice tight bite versus a chewy bite. And after the steak was fully cooked and wrapped, it was time to slice and take a look at this perfectly medium rare exactly the way I like it and don't you forget the cap the best part of the steak don't let the butter go to waste that is very required oh yes this is my take on a grilled Wagyu Marbley score 9 I cannot wait to try this and this is my take with the exact same steak but with my pan fried method. I cannot wait to see what everybody thinks, especially Guga. Sonny, thank you so much for inviting me. I appreciate it. I gotta say, your looks absolutely delicious, man. Mouth watering. That crust is beautiful. Now the shallots. It's one of my favorite parts of this whole dish, Guga. And your steak, unbelievable sear from the grill, and I love the way that gochu, gochujang? Gochujang. Gochujang yeah. you put in there, colored the butter, it looks absolutely phenomenal, perfectly cooked, and I can't wait to try it. I say, we stop talking, let these guys try yes. so we can try it. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Here I have my three taste testers. They don't know which steak is which, if it's Guga's, if it's mine. They're gonna taste it and tell us what they think. So I'm out of here, good luck, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Let's do it. Get a lot of that butter. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh, that's mm. pretty good. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
so tender. Mm. The flavor of that butter is just really good. Oh yeah. I can't even lie. Get a little bit of that charcoal flavor from the grill. So that's Google steaks. <laughs> tastes, go. tastes like a Google steak, yes. Yeah. Next one. Once again, get a good amount of that butter. Cheers. 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 Mm. Very mm. different off the mm. jump. Still very tender. They're both really good. Best part is the garlic. Try it with me. There we go. Sony's garlic with Google's uh, steak. I think that's cheating. Mm. Mm. Man, they're both really good. They're both good, but they're both different in their own ways. The butter in that one has a very good flavor. We can taste the shallots and the herbs in this one. They both have a lot of butter going on, but I think this one has the more bold flavors, if you ask me. Yes, like I said, they're both really good, but if I'm going to pick one, I'm probably gonna go with that one just because the flavors are a little bit more bold, even though I like this one a lot. Let me make sure. Just, <laughs> just to make sure. I gotta make sure, you know, I gotta make sure. Just to make sure. All right, I'm gonna be completely honest. My uncle knows how to cook for me. This is exactly what I would want in a steak. And he knows that. This is amazing. And you know what? Uh, Sonny is not your uncle. <laughs> and so, and Sonny is not my uncle. That's yeah, true. Yeah. That's true. Okay. You done. <laughs> I'm just what do you here. think, Albert? I picked mine, he picked his. You know, I will pick Sonny. But you know, I'm, uh, I'm like two of you. Okay. So, so there is no winner. <laughs> I will finish it every single day. Are you gonna leave any for us? No. If that's the case, then let me just make sure. No, 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 please. <laughs> like enough. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm glad I got to taste it before he finishes it then. Right. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. Okay, 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 okay. but before you guys yeah, yeah, finish everything, so. can we at least try? Just one little taste, guys. Yeah, Albert, okay, Albert. Yeah. I'm gonna one try yours, Shani. Bite. Just on the corner. Shani, cheers, cheers, buddy. Mmm, mmm. That's delicious, Shani. That is amazing too, Google. You guys pick the winner. It doesn't matter. That is absolutely delicious. This is something that I would do if I'm indoors. Mm, yes. But if I go outdoors, I'm using the grill. The grill flavor on there, the flavors in the butter, the tenderness, it's honestly one of the best bites of steak I've had in a long time. Oh, it's really thank good. Thank you, man. thank you, really thank good, you. Really good. Most importantly, thanks for inviting me. Yes, thank you. For this is a win-win, man. Yes. I think we better get out before Albert yeah, gets yeah, really yeah, upset. Yeah. He's not looking very happy. Yeah, he started growling a minute ago. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, finally they leave. One more bite. What? I told you to save me a bite, dude. He he's just so hungry. All the time he's just so hungry. All right, whatever. Until next time, you know what?